Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling for tall women guys. So today is going to be kind of like a event <laughs> about shopping as a tall woman, alright? And I know that some of my followers are tall on TikTok but I'm not 100% sure how many of you ladies or even gentlemen are actually over 5'9", I want to say. Because I do feel like 5'7", you really shouldn't have an issue <laughs> unless you have um, like a really thick thighs possibly and you want to wear like uh, straight leg pants that are like full denim, maybe. Uh, but you typically wouldn't have an issue with like length. So let's get into it <laughs> why am i talking about this today because i feel like brands just don't care about the tall girls okay i said it and i said what i said okay they do not care about tall women my air is coming on so it may be a little loud in here so and i'm saying i'm gonna use some brands as an example mm, i don't know if i should say their names but <laughs> There are brands where they do have a tall section, but you can't get the item in store. Like, what? What's, what's the point of that? So you just exclude a whole group of people and just make them always shop online. I just don't think that that is inclusive, okay? So when it comes to, I'm gonna go through a few things. I'm gonna give you ladies some tips as well that I use. So I'll give you a little backstory. I am six feet tall. For those of you guys who do not know this, I'm about 205 pounds, <laughs> maybe 206, but I'm slim. I am a vegan, so that probably was, well, I've always been slim, but I'm slim now. Uh, like my arms and stuff are a lot smaller, but I still have a little belly, okay? So I'm like, I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> So my struggles before, as a child, were finding jeans that fit me as far as the inseam, finding shirts that fit my bust area. I never had the issue with my arms, but I was a lot bigger in the chest area, all right? Um, and then shoes. This is just for big feet girls, right? <laughs> so jackets was an issue because I was taller and they just didn't fit and i also have broad shoulders sorry that's the key that's the key part of this so jackets would not fit my shoulders like i would want them to fit it took me many many years to figure this out but also as a young teen they were not tall girl brands out there so i never grew up shopping at a tall girl brand it was just not something that i did so i've always made regular brands work for my body even if I had to get something tailored. I remember going to my first tailor when I was, I think I was like 18. No, maybe I was 17, maybe 16 or 17. And I remember taking it to this older couple and the pants, they fit me like right at my ankle. And I bought some material from this fabric store with like zebra print guys. <laughs> and I had them actually take the zebra print, put it on the pockets, put it on the belt hooks, and I had them put it at the bottom of the pants and they extended my pants, which I thought was really nice. So I was like, okay, this is something that I can do because I was getting frustrated not finding things. But I still was able to find shirts and skirts, right? Now, the jackets, if they had a, a larger size, I would get that. But even then, it still wouldn't fit properly because I had broad shoulders. So you guys know, style is like recycled over and over. So now, oversize is in. I can definitely wear oversized things. Um, if it's like a one size, oversized item at Frankie shop that's perfect it wouldn't fit me like it fits fit their models it'll fit me like a regular size shirt right now as far as so that was one struggle that I had finding pants and jackets and shoes 
that was the solution for me back then. Now, my solution is pretty much the same. I still have a tailor. I just found a new tailor in my neighborhood, <laughs> right? I like her a lot. She's a little pricey, but I like her. Um, and she listens to me. She's trying something for me right now with some pants. And I'm noticing something. And I think I found the key <laughs> to buying trousers for my body type. And once she does this fix, I'm probably going to do a, a separate video about it because it's just something that I never noticed until today. And I went to her three times to figure out what we were going to do to these pants. And um, today something just rang a bell and I'm just like, okay, you're not the biggest at the bottom. What is the issue with the pants that you don't like? So then I went back to her today and we were like, okay, we're going to try this, right? So we're going to try something out. The pants were expensive. So once she does it, I'm going to have them for a really, really long time. So it doesn't matter. So yes, I found a tailor in my new state that I live in. Another issue I was having was spending the money. Oh, sorry, not spending the money. Spending, well, maybe if I could say spending money investing in the stuff that I really wanted to invest in but I couldn't because they didn't carry my size right so I would do things like all right well maybe I can wear it cuffed up just to say that I had the item that was not really smart because what happened was I wouldn't wear the item a lot so now I'm a lot more strategic when I am buying things that fit me or hit me right at the ankle if the jacket just hits me too close to like my wrist area where I want it to be a little bit longer and I don't think it has enough space to, to, to let down, I'm just going to crop the jacket. I don't care. <laughs> I will crop the jacket in a second. I've done it to two jackets already and she has a jacket for me right now from Express. And I'll show you guys that in a separate video because I got a cute little outfit from them. But the blazer, I don't know, I just wasn't really feeling the sleeves on it. So for me, that's something that I have to do. So I'll say this. For women who are struggling to find things to fit their body, if they are, I'm going to say six feet to about six, six feet and up. If you are struggling to find any jackets and pants, pant, pants or trousers, do you guys say pants or pants? Um, trousers or even denim jeans, just start to get creative. If you don't wanna shop at a tall girl brand, so here's the thing, I have never shopped at a tall girl brand, like ever, like literally, right? If I like something, I'm just going to figure out a way to make it work, right? I'm either going to buy two, like I did with the Zara pants, and I made the other piece into a, a skirt. That's fine, right? She took half of the pants from the other one and put it on the bottom <laughs> of the other pants and then made a skirt. But if you're finding that you do not want to shop at tall girl brands, you have to figure out which brands actually carry up to a, I want to say it's 36 inseam. Because it seems like a lot of girls are wearing 36 now. If you find a brand that carries a 34 and you are 6 feet, you can get those pants. They're still going to be pretty baggy at the bottom. Now, you probably can't wear like a 5-inch heel with it, which I don't recommend with like those type of pants. Because usually, they're supposed to kind of like drag a little bit. But you could wear like maybe a 3-inch heel or even some flats and some sneakers and still look good in them. But you also will have about two inches to bring, maybe an inch. I would say like an inch to bring down possibly. Some places you'll get like two inches and that's great, right? So pay attention to the pants that you're buying. Let me see. Um, these are Zara, but this is like an inch. That's like an inch. I already took these down. Um, I took those down. I don't, did I touch these? I took these down a little bit too. Um, and they just bring them down for you, right? Make the stuff work for you. Now, I am not a fan of the place that I'm about to tell you guys about. But they do carry, <laughs> they do carry a, um, a 36 inseam in some of their pants. 
at Shinova, guys. I didn't even know, all right? I didn't even know that they carried the 36 inseam. One of my clients told me that they did, and I was like, wow, that's awesome, right? Because you won't, ha it went off. I Hopefully it doesn't sound crazy. Um, so basically, they carry a 36 inseam in their, I think they cargo pants and like their regular denim jeans. Not all of them, but the fact that they carry a 36 is good, right? Maybe one day they'll just have a complete tall section. Um, and you know, like I said, it's not, maybe they're not catering to us because there's less tall women than there are petites and possibly plus size maybe, but we, we are here. Okay. We are here. So that's a part of the struggle, you know, finding the inseam that you desire for your height. Um, designers, luxury designers, they sometimes carry really long stuff. Even shoes, for an example, right? When it comes to a larger size, you guys know I always talk about my big old feet, right? They big, they wide, they just, I just got my mom's feet, okay? And um, Jimmy Choo does not, I don't know, I just feel like the shoes are getting smaller. I literally had to get a size 43, guys, like a 43. And then I'm like, well, maybe my feet are like spreading the older I get. That could possibly, I'm looking at them right now. That could possibly be it, but who knows? But that's another struggle. A lot of them do go up to a size 11, but that 12, it's not something that you can often find. But luxury brands carry larger sizes. So it's like, you can't find the clothes, but you can find the shoes, but you're gonna be spending thousands of dollars for the shoes. So it's like, where is the happy medium, right? So the goal is for me, I said, to make sure I find things that are great quality, regardless of what I have to do to get this these items to fit me, I'm gonna find things. If I go to Zara, I can buy their blazers, depending on the where the blazer was made. I can buy their quote unquote satin shirts, right? Depending on where they were made, I like them. The Frankie shop, they have oversized stuff. So their oversized stuff will fit me like a regular shirt, but I'm okay with it because the quality is great, right? I haven't been to Express in years until recently I went and I saw these this cute little suit and the 12 was fine and they were short. So I went online, they had them in long, long as a 34. And I believe, mm, I'm looking at them. Yeah, they're 12 long. And I believe it has like an inch, maybe an inch, an inch and a half to bring down possibly. Yeah, possibly. I'm not too sure. But um, they, they're nice. So that's something that I bought at a high street brand. I'm just making the things work for me because the truth be told, if you don't do that, you're going to be so frustrated when you're shopping for clothes as a tall woman. So struggling for us, it's really a thing, right? It's really a thing. You see your favorite influencer, you're like, oh, this is nice. Child, don't even come in your size. Like, it don't come in your size. So that's why I always say, my channel is really for my body type. I can give tips on things because I'm a style coach, but when it comes to shopping, I'm shopping for my body. I can tell you what's on sale. I can tell you what's great quality. Um, I can definitely give you ideas on what to wear to an event, right? But I'm always gonna have my style coach hat on and I'm gonna tell you we do not shop for events, <laughs> okay? <laughs> That's not what we do. It's just a waste of, of money. Like, it's a waste of money. I don't even care how much money a person makes. You have to have things that you can wear over and over that are excellent quality. So if you are a person that likes to wear shapewear, you're not gonna go ahead and buy uh, cheap shapewear if you know that you wear shapewear every single day. You wanna invest in something that's great, right? So it's the same for us tall women with our shoes, shirts, pants, and outerwear, right? So another struggle for us is really understanding that description and those product details that these 
brands and designers have on their websites. People overlook them and I don't know why because let me tell you what's in there. Let me cross my legs. What's in the details are the model's height. Sometimes they'll put their weight. They will also have the fabric of the, the material that the item is made of, the percent of stretch, if there's any, and a whole other slew of things, right? Sometimes, depending on the brand, they will even tell you how to care for the item, all right? The goal for us tall women is to look at the model's height. If she's 5'10 and those pants look like they're dragging and she got like a little heel on, oh, that's for us girls that's six feet, right? But if the model is 5'7 and it's dragging the same way, it's just not gonna work for us. It's gonna hit us very, very high on the ankle and we don't wanna do that, right? So these struggles that we have to deal with as tall women, um, some may think like, oh, it's not that serious, but it is when you cannot just go into a store and grab something and go. We will always have to tailor it. But to be honest, everyone should have a tailor on hand because designers do not make clothes to fit your body. There's an average that they're putting, right? And most of us are not the average. <laughs> We're not. We're like up and down in weight and it's just not for us, right? So for girls who have a bigger bottom and a really small waist, they have to get their pants tailored around the waist if they don't want to wear a belt. You don't want to have that extra piece sitting in the back of you and you know, it's just not gonna look good when you are wearing your pants and it's just bulging out in the back, right? So it's a good idea to have a tailor to tweak things to fit your particular body type. So those are my struggles and I want you guys to comment below with any of the struggles that you've had when it came to shopping. And to be quite honest, it doesn't even matter if you're tall or short. I know that there's struggles out there and I don't think people really talk about it because some people get extremely frustrated. I've even seen kids cry in stores where they can't, the parent can't find anything to fit them. You know, maybe they are plus size possibly and they don't see anything. They, they're trying to wear things that their friends are wearing and that's great. So <laughs> it's great until you can't find something in their size, right? So people deal with these struggles and sometimes it really, really takes an effect on them. But I'll say this for those girls who are struggling with finding clothes, don't worry about what your friends are wearing. Worry about what what fits you, what looks good on you. Period. All right. So that's my little my little tip. <laughs> um, but yeah. So those are the struggles that I have dealt with growing up. And then once I figured out my body and my what I like on my body, what looks good on my body. Oh, I was good after that. So now when I go to the mall, I don't really worry about what they're not gonna have for me. If I find a shirt, that's it. I've gone into the mall and bought nothing but a pair of, like I'm like, I'm gonna get some perfume or something. I'm not gonna not leave with something. Like I'm just, because if you don't, you're gonna start to feel like they never have nothing for me. I do a lot of online shopping, but I do go into like a Zara or something like that. Uh, we don't have a ton of stores out here that I like. We do have, um, Alice and Olivia who does carry a 34. I think she, I think they actually go a little bit longer than that. But they also have a seamstress in store. That's that's perfect, right? They're not the cheapest, but the option is there, right? So those are the struggles that us tall women deal with. And I have a slew of others when it comes to like traveling and stuff, but this was strictly about clothes, guys. Cause you guys know the struggle is real when we're traveling as well. <laughs> But if you guys need any tips or advice on places to go as a tall woman, comment below. Or you can even go to my Instagram at Coco Styles NYC or Coco Styles NY either page and you know comment on a video. Or you can go book a style consultation with me. Or head over to my TikTok, Coco Styles NYC. 
Coco Styles NYC and my style blog, CocoStylesNYC.com and my personal style services, CocoStylesNY.com, guys. And for those of you guys who were watching my, this is so random, <laughs> watching my Dr. Bobby Price um, detox, I am going to be doing it again in August, probably August 1st. So. I'm gonna put the details below if you guys want to join you can comment that as well I'll probably mention it again in the next video but I am gonna order my stuff and start the 14 days for my mid-year detox guys so thank you guys for joining and I will catch you guys in the next one bye guys